I'm back. This is Chandler for Melter Production, and today I'm going to show you something that I think lots of people have been waiting for, and that is the sampler module in M Sound Factory. So this was just released about two days ago or something, so I thought I'd show it to you. And this will allow lots of new and exciting things in M Sound Factory, so uh, let's get to it. So if you open the generator here, just right click in one of these rows, and let's just go to sampler here. It's brand new. So you can see here, when you open it up, there's not much there, just volume and everything else is blanked out. So you think, what can you do with that? So of course there's all the pitch stuff like before, but also let's say for the regions here, we can load something up if we want to, but let's actually import something. So where it says import audio files, we'll do that first. So just choose something here, whatever sample you want. And let's try full import. There's different modes here. So we could just do a selected region, replace selected region, but we don't even have a region in the first place. So let's just do full import. Uh, pitch detection, let's do audio. Uh, we could do file prefix if they're already labeled. We can change the pitch offset and velocity use. So let's say if you had a piano and you sampled it at uh, like pianissimo, a mezzo forte, fortissimo, etc. You could do that. But in this case, it's just one wave file here. So let's click OK. So you see here it built something and this is our sample and it'll play all over the keyboard. Okay, so that's cool, but one thing you notice it's a little bit low in volume. So we can either adjust the volume of all the samples here or just for this region like this. Just move it up a little bit. And one thing you also notice is it says air here and it has a keyboard. So we can move this by dragging, and this way we can make multiple regions. So let's say one area you have one sound, another area you have a different sound, or if you just want to limit how far a sound plays, we can do that fairly easily using this. Uh, if you want to insert one, just hit plus here, or I think there's another menu option here we can do and import it just like we did before. But uh, let's actually move on here. You see there's lots of other things like fine tuning. You notice here, this is will be like the bass note. That's what the uh, uh, sampler detected as the bass note. In this, it almost sounds like a chord, and I don't think that's actually right. So let's try to move this down to make sure this is an actual C. I'm not even sure if that's a C. One easy way to check would be to use a tuner, but if not, I can just use, let's say, an oscillator here. And what I like to do is just take this oscillator, move it down in volume, and then just move it up until it sounds correct. Uh, that sounds somewhat in tune. I can also do the fine tuning there. Uh, let's see. But yeah, if I move it up, it'll move it down like an octave. But you're probably not too concerned about that. Let's get to the real fun stuff. So get rid of this oscillator here. So you notice here, this is cool, but it comes to an end. You're like, ah, I like this and I want to make it into a soundscape, but I want it to repeat. So all we have to do is click loop here and move this wherever we want in here. And let's try it now. Cool, it's looping and it'll play forever like that. But one thing you notice, it had like a kind of skip as it got to the end. Let's get rid of that. Let's click the crossfade button here. Cool. That's much better. There's no click, but you're also noticing like volume fluctuation. So what we can do is we can go into advanced here and we can change the crossfade shape. So instead of being linear like that, we can move it up a bit. Let's try like 27 or so and see if that helps. To me, that's sounding pretty smooth, except for my computer kind of popping, but that, that has nothing to do with M Sound Factory. I just need to buy a new computer. We can also change the direction to backwards, or I like ping pong like this. To me, that sounds really smooth. Uh, let's move on and let's try something else. So I'll just go into here, let's go into default. So just erase everything. And let's try importing something else because that was cool, but that's just one sample. Let's try with multiple samples. So do the same thing, import audio files, and let's try something different. 
Okay, so here I have samples for piano. And so I could do these one at a time, but you're thinking, hey, that sounds really annoying. I don't want to do that. So just click here at the top, click here at the bottom, make sure you press shift and click it, and it selects all of those. And we can do full import again. Uh, we could do the prefix here, but let's just do audio to make sure it detects it correctly. There's no alternating samples for velocity, so we'll just use none and click OK. Okay, now let's try to play this. It's a piano. Cool. So we could do that and we could alter these regions individually if we wanted to, like changing the gain or fine tuning it or panning it if we wanted to. So that's something you can do, although in this case I, I probably won't. So that seems really cool, easy enough, but there's another one we can do here instead of doing an audio load. Let's say we wanted to use an SFZ file, which we have. Okay, so that same upright piano, it's already in SFZ form, so I could uh, just click here, hit OK, we can choose the MIDI channel or shift it by octaves, etc. Click OK. Same thing. It has the regions already mapped out for me, and before you notice, it goes all the way down to the you know very bottom of the keyboard, which a real keyboard doesn't doesn't go that low. But in this in this case, SFV did it for us, so we don't have to worry about you know changing those regions, etc. So hopefully that gave you an idea of some things it can do, and I'll show you one last thing, one I did before. So I just made this as like a test, and I put some vocals in here. Uh, 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 if you notice, you see here I put a loop and a crossfade, so these kind of last forever. Uh, Not the best vocal recording, but I think you get the idea of what you can do with this. So I probably should have, you know, pitch corrected these and uh, compressed them. But you can do this, and it only took me about like five minutes to do and actually record this. But you see I have the samples here, and let's try to do something interesting with this. So we have the sampler here. Let's go into here, and let's try something. Let's make it into a chorus. So let's go into M Unison here. I'll choose the chorus preset. This actually does come with latency, so you may not be playing this in real time, but you could just set the sampler track up if you're actually playing this in yourself, and then afterwards put M Unison on there. And now it'll sound like this. Cool, and let's do a few more things. Let's just Increase the release so it sounds a little bit better, and let's put some reverb on there. Uh, let's try convolution easy. Let's use a, a real space. Use a hall, maybe medium deep. Change this like thirty percent. Now let's hear it. Uh... Okay, so you get the idea. Hopefully those glitches don't come through. My computer with recording everything is kind of going crazy. and I really need to buy a new computer, but that's besides the point. The point is there's a lots of interesting things you can do with this, and you can use these layers however you want. So you can actually use more than one sampler if you want. You can use the sampler with any of the other oscillators, with the wave tables. Uh, you can take the sampler output and FM it by an oscillator. You can use it with the physical modeling stuff in here and with any of the effects to create all sorts of new and interesting things you never could before. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what the sampler can do in M Sound Factory. If you have any questions, leave those down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.